you want ultra portable, but you'd like ultra powerful. You need all day battery life, but you'd like enough horsepower so that your rendering doesn't take all day. You're all about that business life, but you'd like to get your frag on with some buttery smooth graphics, and you want to be able to do all of that without breaking the bank for performance that will be out of date in a year. That's why I've got the ASUS XG Station Pro for some hands-on tech. Hands-on tech is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. Using the same password everywhere is a security nightmare waiting to happen. LastPass easily creates unique passwords for every site. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. This is Twit. This episode of Hands-On Tech is brought to you by LastPass. Allow your remote workforce the ability to do their best work securely without jumping through hoops. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. I'm Father Robert Ballaser, the digital Jesuit, and I've got a scenario for you to consider. Let's say you're thinking about your next laptop. Now, you can get something in an Ultrabook, something that's small, light, ultra portable, and probably really anemic when it comes to graphics power. Or you could get something bigger, heavier, probably far more expensive that can pack most of the power of a desktop into a four to 10 pound package. Now, there are some phenomenal laptops out there that have done a really good job of balancing the power portability equation but they tend to be at the top tier of the pricing scale. So you have to ask yourself, am I willing to pay a large premium for performance that is going to start feeling a little sluggish in a year? More than that, am I willing to pay that premium for a CPU and GPU that I will probably not be able to use completely because they'll derate once there's too much heat in such a small package? What we need is a way to buy a truly great, no compromise traveling notebook with the power and upgradability of a desktop. That sounds impossible, but it's not. That's why I'm hands-on with the ASUS XG Station Pro. The ASUS XG Station Pro is a $330 external graphics dock that connects to any Thunderbolt 3 equipped notebook with eGPU support. When you connect the Station Pro to your notebook, you get the ability to add a full-size GPU to your notebook, which will then take over graphics duty from whatever integrated or discrete graphics part you have in your system. Opening up the box, you'll find the XG Station Pro dock and its accessories. You'll get a manual and power cord alongside a 330-watt external power supply. Now, some of you may not like the idea of such a large external power brick, but I'll explain later why it's actually a great idea. ASUS also includes a 1.5-meter active Thunderbolt 3 Type-C cable, which I appreciate. High-quality cables are expensive, and you probably don't have a lot of them lying around. The XG Station Pro enclosure itself is light, under 3 pounds, and crafted entirely of aluminum. It's also relatively small, measuring 37.5 centimeters deep, 20.5 centimeters high, and 10.7 centimeters wide, about the size of a shoebox. This means that it is portable and quite sturdy, but be careful because full-length video cards tend to be heavy and can put undue stress on the internals. That's also something that I'll get back to later. The back of the XG Station Pro has the standard dual slot for graphics cards, a reversible port for the external power supply, the power switch, Thunderbolt port, and a single USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C connector for daisy chaining peripherals. Getting into the enclosure is easy thanks to the slide-out panels and a single screw that holds a locking mechanism in place. It's an elegant, well-thought-out design, but I wish they would have used a thumb screw to make this a completely toolless enclosure. The slide-out panels include integrated washable air filters which can trap dust and debris before they get into the enclosure and its two 120mm exhaust fans. That's a nice touch as the heatsink and fan assemblies on most graphic cards tend to collect dust bunnies at an alarming rate. Now, Once you get the XG Station Pro open, it's all business. There's a single 16-lane PCIe interface slot and supplementary power cables for your graphics card of choice. As of this review, the enclosure supports cards ranging from the NVIDIA GTX 900 all the way up to the RTX 2080 and Quadro line. Of course, Mac OS doesn't support NVIDIA cards, so on the AMD side, the ASUS XG Station Pro will work with the Radeon RX 570 580 and the Radeon Pro WX7100. Now, be sure to check the ASUS site to make sure that the enclosure will work with your card of choice. Installing a card is simple. I'd say even simpler than installing it in a desktop. 
You open the card support hinge, drop in your card of choice, lock it into place, connect supplemental power, then close it up. The power connector is spring-loaded and reversible, as is the USB-C Thunderbolt 3 cable. Now it's just a matter of turning it on and connecting the Thunderbolt 3 port on the XG Station Pro to the port on your laptop. You will probably be prompted to download the latest drivers and graphics software from the vendor of your card, but after that, installation complete. Now a word on noise. The XG Station Pro uses two variable speed 120mm exhaust fans that can be controlled through the ASUS Tweak 2 software. This is important because if you're using an ASUS video card as well, you have total control over all the parts in the enclosure that make noise. Also, remember that I told you that having an external power supply was a good idea? Well, this is why. Since the power supply doesn't dump its heat into the enclosure, the fans don't have to remove it. This means you can have a silent, as in zero decibel enclosure under light load. Even under heavy loads, the chances are that you'll hear the small fans on your laptop before you hear the large fans on the XG Station Pro. Let's talk about performance. I used a Thunderbolt 3 eGPU equipped Dynabook Tecra X40F to test the ASUS XG Station Pro. The X40 was specced with a 9th gen Intel i7 16GB of memory and a PCIe SSD. It has plenty of CPU and memory power, but lacks the graphics power of a discrete GPU, pretty typical of a mid-range travel notebook. I paired it with a sub-$300 ASUS 1660 Ti A6G graphics card in the XG Station Pro enclosure, again a mid-range option at a reasonable price. All told, the enclosure and the card were about $600. In PC Mark 10, the baseline Dynabook Tecra X40F scored 3914. Connected to the Asus XG Station Pro with an Nvidia 1660 Ti, it scored 4501. That's a modest 15% increase. Good, but not great. But then again, not really surprising since PC Mark 10 is weighted mostly on CPU and memory rather than GPU. It wouldn't benefit all that much from adding a GPU. However, that wasn't the case with the 3D Mark score. The Tecra baselined at a 3D Mark score of 457, which is about right for integrated graphics. The same system, connected to our ASUS XG Station Pro and ASUS 1660 Ti, scored 4,306. That's 456 versus 4,306. That's an 842% increase over baseline, and honestly, it wasn't that close. It's not just that the X40 with the external GPU is faster, it's that it allows the system to run programs and do things that it couldn't previously. One thing is clear in the benchmark results, and that is that the eGPU isn't a gimmick. It gives a notebook immediate access to power that increases performance, of course in anything graphics related, but also in CPU tasks that are assisted by unloading the integrated graphics subsystem. In 3D Mark, the eGPU connected system saw a 5.6% CPU task performance increase. In PC Mark, the CPU GPU combination mixed content creation scores saw a boost of 55.5%. In other words, when you have a capable GPU, some tasks just get offloaded from the CPU. Of course, that's just benchmarks. They might show us the potential power that can be harvested by a system like this, but that power sometimes doesn't translate into actual performance. So what can it actually do in the real world? For me, the best test of something like this, this power, is video rendering. That's where I most miss having discrete graphics power. For the test, I put a sequence from my CES 2020 coverage and rendered it on both the X40 in its base configuration and then after clearing the rendering cache with the attached XG Station Pro. Alone, the Dynabook rendered the sequence in 20 minutes, 58 seconds. That's actually quite good for a sequence that took my last notebook more than 35 minutes to complete. However, with the ASUS XG Station Pro attached, Adobe Encoder finished the render in 3 minutes, 52 seconds. That's five times faster, or 18% of the time to do the same amount of work. Now, it should be mentioned that I use several filters and rendering options in my standard workflow that take better advantage of GPU power, but still, that's a 500% performance increase and potentially hours of saved rendering time over the course of one of my typical events. And yes, the XG Station Pro isn't just for us video content nerds. 
could help but bust out a little gaming, and all I can say is damn. I played everything from Minecraft to COD, oxygen not included to rust. I stressed it at 4K, pushed to external monitors and the internal screen at the same time. I did broadcasts with GPU powered streaming software at the same time that I was gaming, and the Asus combo did it all without as much as a glitch. Everything was beautiful, smooth and shiny, and chrome, with all the eye candy turned on. Everything was also rock solid, which isn't true of every enclosure that I've tested. Clearly, Asus did their homework. This episode of Hands On Tech is brought to you by LastPass. Now with 25 million users and 70,000 businesses, it's no surprise why they are the award-winning number one password manager. They help you transition your remote workforce and single sign-on manages employee access in a centralized view so IT always has insight into who has access to what from where. LastPass has won eight awards this year. You don't have to take just our word for it. LastPass speaks for itself. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit. Obviously, there's a lot of promise in a product like the Asus XG Station Pro. It has the ability to change what we expect to be able to do with our laptops. Now, I have a desktop that was specifically designed for video editing, but over the past eight months, I have replaced it with this, my laptop, and an Asus 1660 Ti. It has consistently outperformed my customized desktop. Not only that, it changed the way that I work. The fact that I could take my laptop with me as a daily driver and only plug it in when I need to render or do a little gaming, well, it just changed my workflow, and I like that. Now, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind when deciding if an enclosure is for you. First, and really, I, I cannot stress this enough, you need to check if your laptop is eGPU compatible. Unfortunately, there are a lot of manufacturers out there that aren't being upfront about whether or not they support true eGPU. And that's a problem, because if your laptop doesn't have it, this enclosure won't work, even if it's a USB-C connector. Even if it's Thunderbolt 3, without eGPU, it's no go. Second, I love the fact that you can upgrade the GPU inside the enclosure. In fact, that's one of the primary selling points. And yes, you'll be able to use future parts because it has a full-size PCIe slot, which should mean that it's compatible. It can actually fit those cards. However, you should know that it is power supply limited. With a 330 watt power supply, Asus budgeted 300 watts for the video card, 15 watts for the internals of the XG Station Pro, and 15 watts for any connected device. This puts a hard cap on the type of card that you can install, and it also means that you won't be powering anything more than an Ultrabook. Third, you need to get accustomed to properly disconnecting the device anytime you're going to want to pull the laptop. It's not like USB-C where you can just pull and the operating system will figure it out. If you consistently disconnect without properly undocking, the OS may actually disable the interface, then you have to go in manually and re-enable the external GPU. Fourth, there is a pass-through USB-C port on the enclosure, but I wouldn't use it for anything that needs high bandwidth. Keyboards, mice, printers, maybe, sure, but network adapters and storage devices might start pulling enough data to glitch the enclosure. Also, the port only supplies a maximum of 15 watts of power, so anything more power thirsty will need its own power source. Finally, and this is sort of a nitpicky note, the enclosure is small, so there's, there's a temptation to travel with it. I know that I did. And if you do that, you should know that there's a good chance you're gonna break the enclosure. You see, those cards are heavy. They can be up to 10 pounds, and all that weight goes into the PCIe slot and onto the card bracket. Unfortunately, that card bracket is normally made out of really thin, not so strong metal, so the force goes into the slot. 10 pounds moving back and forth inside your checked-in luggage, that's a really good way to break your enclosure. In fact, I did break my first enclosure exactly that way. Uh, I will say that once I got my replacement enclosure, I designed and printed a 3D support that locks the card into the case instead of the motherboard of the slot. And I haven't had any traveling problems since then. Uh, if you want the design, just ping me and I'll make it available. Beyond that, I am completely impressed by the ASUS XG Station Pro. 
It outperformed any integrated solution I've ever tested because its superior cooling means the GPU would never derate. It also gives me more options as far as ports are concerned. It gives me power that's upgradable. It gives me flexibility in my choice of notebook, and it allows me to upgrade my laptop separately from my GPU. In other words, it's exactly what I needed. Uh, if you're looking for a way to boost your laptop's power and flexibility, I think you'd be very well served with the Asus XG Station Pro. I'm Father Robert Balliser, the Digital Jesuit, and I'll see you the next time I get my hands on tech. Want more Twit? Well, check out Smart Tech today. It's at twit.tv slash STT. It's the show where Matthew Casanelli and I cover everything there is to know about smart tech tech, it's automation, it's connected devices, it's smart home, it's all those goodies and so much more. We get the news, we get the latest devices, we do reviews, everything. You gotta check it out. Twit.tv slash STT for Smart Tech Today. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching Hands on Tech.